Hello everyone, it's been a while. I'm back here with a simple dish from, hmm, I don't want to say because then I'm going to get in trouble. Every Latin American country is going to say, oh no, that's me, that's me. It's like, you know what, it's Dominican because I'm Dominican and then I'm making the Dominican way. But in all fairness, it is a very traditional Latin American dish. And uh, how would I call it? So it's like the country has a different name as well. You know, Colombians call it calentado, Costa Ricans call it Cano Pinto, the Cubans call it Hungry, Dominicans we call it Moro. Um, we're just gonna say it's gonna be rice and beans all together, okay? Because you can also make it separate, right? So um, I love this dish because I grew up eating it, uh, but I also like it because it's very simple and most of the ingredients you probably already have on your fridge or in your pantry. And even if you don't, I can easily help you to make your chocolates, okay? Um, so I'm gonna try to keep it simple, but most important, I'm gonna try to keep it healthy. Awesome. Salud! I'm gonna get bad tonight because, I don't know, somehow in my head it goes better with this dish. Um, so, President of Beer, to be more specific. Um, let me introduce you the ingredients. Um, as I promise, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. These are onions, and as you can see, there's tons of onions in here. Probably a large onion and a half. Uh, here I have a mixture of red, green peppers and celery uh, chopped all together. Um, normally in Dominican we use cubanela peppers, which are like light green bell peppers. I mean, regular peppers, but uh, again, one survival mode. That's what I got, that's what we're using. Here, um, cilantro, and um, I'm using probably more than what most people use because I love cilantro. Uh, if you don't like cilantro or you're one of those people who think that it tastes like soap, then don't use it. But do not replace it with parsley, please, because uh, as much as they look alike, they, they, are, they have very different tastes. Uh, this is garlic, I put like three cloves, I believe, which is like a tablespoon and a half, if I'm not mistaken. So now let's move to this department, and of course I got my red kidney beans here. You can use them pink, you can use them red, you can use them black, whatever color you like. Um, of course, if you can have actual beans cooked um, from scratch, that it's always going to be better, especially because then you can use the water that you use to boil the beans or to cook this rice. Uh, but unfortunately, I did not have the luxury of time. So again, I'm sure you got a lot of cans of stuff when you probably thought that the world was going to be over. So use one of them to make this dish. Um, I have olives. I like to put olives on my rice and beans, which I don't know if it's a Dominican thing or it's just because I'm obsessed with olives. These are just regular cooking olives. Um, I'm using Beren de Bouillon. Normally I will use, I will buy chicken buns at the market and make my own stock, but um, uh, they don't have that available on Instacart. So now I have to use alternatives. And this, as the name says, it's better than Bouillon, but it's of all you have, it's Bouillon. Uh, then use it. I just heard that it has too much uh, MSG, so just in case that's true, I prefer to use the healthier option. Um, to give color to this dish in Dominican Republic, they also use this Goya seasoning that has uh, achiote or anato seeds and gives it like a beautiful color. I don't have that seasoning. Again, I try to use whole spices, um, but I have the actual seeds as you can see over here. And if you don't have them, that's okay. I'm using them mainly for the color. Um, and then what you can use if you don't have anato seeds is that you can use paprika. And that's also going to give it a nice flavor, okay? Uh, oregano, it's very, it's kind of like one of the things that makes it Dominican. Like Cubans, they use cumin. We use more oregano. I'm going to use a little bit of cumin and more oregano. Uh, rice, I'm making two cups of rice, which it's a lot of rice. Um, but, you know, even though there's only two of us in this house, we like to cook so that we can have leftovers. Um, pepper and salt, of course. And that's it. Easy peasy. So my oil is hot now, so it's time to put these onions in. I'm going to use the spatula so I don't make too much noise.
So I got a little bit excited throwing the water in. Technically, before you put the water, you put the beans. So today I'm gonna see if it does really matter. I'll show you. So this is the beans. Um, they come with water. Get it out. Even though when you do your beans, you can keep your water. This water is full of sodium and it doesn't taste good, so don't use it. So I'm only throwing the beans here. Hopefully that will be okay. Uh, so with the water, I put one and a half cups of water for each cup of rice, okay? So don't forget that. And since I'm not using bouillon, I mean I found a little tiny bit of my fridge and I kind of put it there. Um, so for this, um, it's going to give it that chickeny flavor that I'm after. I'm going to put um, just one tablespoon of it. It's not like I'm making a chicken soup, right? So it's just a tiny bit of chicken flavor to make your rice a little bit more interesting. So time to throw the rice in. It's always good to try your food so that you make sure it has enough salt. Um, you always want to have it a little bit salty, not too much, when it comes to the rice because the, fly, the rice absorbs all the sweet. Um, so make sure you can feel the salt. It's boiling now. I'm going to let it boil uh, for a couple of minutes until it dries a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to cover it completely and we're going to let it sit for about hmm, 15 minutes. So it has been about 18 minutes uh, since I put the lid on top and because this has a glass we have been observing my rice, making sure that it's cooked. So I'm using jasmine rice. You can use any kind of local rice that you may have. And uh, based on the instructions, normally this rice can take anywhere between 18 to 20 minutes to simmer. The secret is make sure you keep it at a very low fire, okay? Especially when you do the water trick that I did. Um, so simmering is key. So now let's open it. And what I'm going to do, ooh, it smells delicious. So I'm going to. Remove this rice. You see? It looks perfect. And then after we move it, because remember, I am a cilantro lover. Even more cilantro here because also it looks so pretty. And then I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to put the lid back and let it rest for another five minutes. So it's been five minutes, and as you can see. Rice looks good. This is how I like it. I like it to be dry, not smushy. I'm gonna just give it a try because I actually have dinner already. So let's see whether putting those beans before or after the water make any difference on the taste. And it's really, really hot, so hopefully it won't work.
it doesn't matter. So, thank you for watching my show. Um, next time we're gonna do something to accompany this dish, which could be a chicken stew. It could be so many wonderful things. Um, this dish goes really well with everything. Or if you're a vegetarian, and you know it goes on its own. So thank you for watching and see you next time.